Today is Saturday, July 17th, and we are right in the middle, for most people, of the Hard Rock 100. <laughs> and actually, we just had a winner. Francois Dehane won. Dylan Bowman got second. Sabrina Stanley is in first for the women right now. Uh, Courtney DeWalter had to drop, unfortunately. That was very sad to see. Right around mile 62, she was having stomach issues. Um, but it's also been reported that Sabrina Stanley is having a lot of stomach issues as well. So I can definitely identify with both of those ladies. Stomach issues are not fun. <laughs> I just got to update that the fourth place male, Julian Chorier, uh, has come in and he was actually being paced by Kyle Curtin, who I follow on Instagram, had some wonderful footage of the course on his Instagram stories. I've been like really, really wanting to get back out on the trails. But here in the Midwest, we've had just an absolutely incredible amount of rain over the past couple weeks. And it's just made the trails extremely muddy, which is fine. Like I'm not, I'm definitely not opposed to running on muddy trails. It's just, uh, I want to maximize my time right now. And so running on muddy trails is gonna be really slow. So today I'm gonna go run out on the roads. So I've got some nutrition. I've been really enjoying these spring energy uh, um, like drink mixes. Uh, although these are my last two. I've got another uh, passion fruit yams, which was like the flavor was actually like, okay, it wasn't too bad. But this pina colada, I really liked a lot. Uh, and I've been putting those in this handheld water bottle by Amphipod and it's been just a really great combination. I'm gonna try, okay, so here's my thing. So I'm looking at changing up my nutrition and hydration strategies a little bit this year because I've been struggling just a little bit in 100 mile races with uh, gels. And I get, like I'm, I have really great success up to anywhere between like 40 and 50 miles. And then after that, it's just like gels, I just, I just can't take them anymore. And I know part of it has to do with just conditioning, like I need to be, eating gels a lot more in training if I want to use them in races. Um, but they're also like really expensive. I wanna try changing it up just a little bit. And I wanna see what it's like if I get more calories from my drink mix, then use gels to maybe supplement a little bit. So kind of like flipping it just a little bit uh, because I don't know if maybe like my gut, it just responds better to fluids uh, nutrition because that's really worked. Uh, like late in 100 mile races when I start to feel kind of sick, I can still rely on like Gatorade or anything like at aid stations like that. So I'm wondering if maybe I start from the beginning with more drink mix type of nutrition, a little bit less gels. Maybe I can stretch that out across a full 100 mile race and have better success that way. So I'm gonna be trying it out. I'm gonna be working on over the next uh, 12 weeks until Indiana Trail 100. That's a pretty big update actually for me because for the last couple of years, I've really been solidly in the camp of eat your nutrition, drink your hydration. That's still really, really great advice and very valid for a lot of people, especially if you train and race in different conditions. Uh, like, so say maybe you're training throughout the winter for a spring race that is gonna be maybe kinda hot. You're, you're not gonna hydrate and eat the same way during the winter that you do when it gets hot outside. So that's kind of the philosophy behind that approach is that if you follow that rule, you can train and race in all different conditions and you should be okay. But okay, next we're gonna open some packages of things that companies have sent me. And the first one, I already opened it. It's the Wahoo Element Rival. It's brand new. Well, it's not brand new. It's been out for a couple months. It's a pretty cool little watch. It's really super light. Uh, I was just on a call yesterday with Wahoo and they kind of walked me through all the features and everything. So I'm gonna be using this watch today. Uh, my Garmin Enduro is still going strong, obviously. Uh, um, my review on that will come out very soon. I'm actually just about finished writing that review, but Wahoo Element Rival. I'm gonna test it out <laughs> on a long run. Uh, putting a lot of faith in you, Wahoo. Don't let me down. All right, next. Myovolt Wearable Recovery. Oh, it's vibration. Okay, right here. And then a knee strap. Very cool, I'll have to try this out. Uh, wearable vibration technology. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Myovolt. Oh, cool. 
This is uh, called a, uh, this is by the brand Naked, waistband for hydration and fuel. So this is actually the same thing that Jim Walmsley wore during Western States. Um, although, I don't think his had all this branding on it. <laughs> Last but not least, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Even though it's from Amazon, I did not order this. A lot of times companies, if they want to send you something, they will uh, just order it off Amazon. <laughs> Their own thing. So this is from Tribit, and this is a home speaker something. Wireless. Thank you, Tribit. It's like really cloudy and it looks like it's gonna rain today, but we're gonna go out anyway. We're gonna try and see, we're gonna see what the legs have in them today. Long run, out on the roads, let's go. All right, what's up? Definitely raining out here. Uh, but I got my Wahoo Rival Element going. Got the Amphipod, some spring energy drink in there. And I'm just kind of taking it easy right now. About like 8.15 pace. Just kind of cruising, warming up. I didn't run yesterday because it was just really busy. Stuff was really stressful at work. I could just feel my body just needed, just needed a little bit of a break. So, but then like last night, I was like chomping at the bit to go out and run and I had to really hold myself back. So today we're hoping that things work, legs wake up and I have a really good run. Shooting for like 20 miles. Temperature's not too bad, it's 78 degrees. But it's raining and really humid. <laughs> so everything's a little wet right now. Got the New Balance Rebel V2 on right now. Should hit 50 miles today in these shoes. And the review is coming soon. I'm also wearing the naked belt right now. At first I thought I had a size too small. Now that I'm running, it doesn't really feel that tight anymore. But nothing's bouncing around, so that's great. Plenty of room for two gels, extra drink mix, and my GoPro, and my key. There's a clip for that, so that's nice. Five minutes into the run, five miles. Feeling really lethargic. I don't know, my legs really haven't felt like they've woken up yet. Yeah, we're gonna keep rolling. Wahoo Element Rival, it's pretty cool. Seems like it's pretty accurate. I'm hitting mile markers right about the same place that uh, I do on all my other watches. So, seems like GPS is pretty accurate. Heart rate seems good too. So, yeah, so far I like it. It's really light and comfortable too. That's a offshoot of the Wabash Heritage Trail right there. And we're coming up on the river. There has been a couple like flooded spots and I expect that there'll be some more. But uh, yeah, so far just a little muddy. So that used to be an old railroad bridge. Let's 
scary holding a camera over the edge like that. feet <clears throat> I don't think these are meant for long distance <laughs> 20 mile run it's up on Strava right now the Wahoo rival element was a fun watch like it just it feels good I really like the there's this function where you can tap two buttons and it changes the view gives you more data on the screens uh, it's kind of like programming in uh, several different pages with like a Garmin or Polar or something else like that. But the way Wahoo does it, it's kind of a little bit, uh, it's just a different take on it. You can press these two buttons and it cycles between one and six data fields. And you can program in which data fields you want those to be. Fun to play around with that. Uh, but yeah, really light, just like never even felt it on my wrist the band is stretchy so fun watch um put together like a review here about a couple weeks or so probably for it the naked belt was great like i did not expect to like it this much when i put it on it was like oh man maybe i got the wrong size like maybe the sizing is a little bit weird nothing bounced around like everything stayed put i had two gels i had a pack of drink mix i had a key and i also had my gopro in the back and nothing bounced at all and i can't say that about other belts that i've had before so naked belt pretty good i would show it to you right now but it's already in the wash also with this run i crossed over 50 miles in the new balance rebel v2 and i had some problems with that shoe on this run i don't think for me it's a long run shoe just it's not. I'll talk about this more in my review coming up uh, once I like really put my thoughts together. But just like in the moment, my thoughts is just the midsole is just too flexible. It was once I got past 10 miles, I started really wanting something more stable under my foot. And then once I got to 15 miles, I was like, OK, like this is starting to cause some actual like pain some fatigue in my feet and then by the end like i just couldn't wait to get out of them honestly i really love them for like that seven to eight mile range uh but once i started getting past 10 i was like okay done with these need something a little more stable i really loved all the cushion like the fresh foam is great but anyway i'll have a lot more to say about that in my full review but anyway that's it for this video i just took a couple salt stick tabs so i've started my recovery i need to eat some food i need to hydrate and i need to get uh, in these Speedhound boots and flush my legs out. I also need to stretch quite a bit because unfortunately with this run in these shoes, towards the end I started feeling that plantar fasciitis pain in the run, which I typically don't ever feel during the run. So that's got me actually like really worried. Um, so I hope I didn't overdo it in these shoes, but it is what it is. So that's it. Thanks for joining. I will see you again soon. Bye.